So I'm just minding my business, scrolling Twitter to see what's tr uh, trending. And Martin Luther Cream is trending, as well as uh, Talcum X. What in the world? Let's talk about it. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna stay focused on my grind. I won't let none of this shit fade. All right, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I want to start a new series called Views from the Six. It's kind of a play off the Drake Views from the Six. He thinks he says Canada's the six side. Kind of a play off my military career. Uh, <clears throat> where, you know, I got your six, you know what I'm saying, I got your back. And then my channel, Blues View, so Views from the Six, you put it all together, it's triple entendre or something, whatever, y'all do the math on that. Any case, so many things in the world to talk about today to just jump into, and that's what this series is going to be about. I'm just going to jump on, I'm going to get my random thoughts, I'm going to try to keep it uh, around five minutes or under, and uh, so many things to talk about today, there's sports galore, we can go basketball, we can go football, we can talk about uh, fighting with the MMA or boxing or any of that stuff, but I jumped on the Twitter today and in my trending um, list, I see my, uh, Martin Luther Cream. What in the world? Talcum X. What in the world? So I'm like, what is going on? There's something happening today in the world, and I have to look it up and see what's going on. So uh, pretty much what's going on is there's uh, this guy, Sean King, who's uh, not really in my bubble of knowing what he is or who he is or what he does but apparently sean king is an american writer a civil rights activist and the co-founder of real justice pack so uh, a real left liberal type of guy um and i don't try to stay away from politics the liberal versus conservative that type of thing but um apparently uh he has a problem with elon musk and his purchase of twitter so he uh jumped on to uh twitter ironically and uh he came up with a post in his post he said this at the root of it elon musk wants to purchase twitter wanting to purchase twitter it's not about left versus right he said it's about white power well my ears perked up what are we talking about how is elon musk about white power i thought he was born in africa from africa but let's keep reading see what's going on the man was raised uh, by a white nationalist. Didn't know that because I don't know who he's raised by. Not really my business. He's upset that Twitter won't allow white nationalists to target slash harass people. That That's his definition of free speech. Okay, so I think what he's going, what he's talking about is the whole big reason that Elon wants to even buy Twitter is because of this uh, group, uh, Babylon B who I think is a conservative Christian group or something like that. I guess they jumped on Twitter. They made some kind of joke. Twitter said yes against our policy. So they shut them down. And Elon didn't like that. So in, in this case, it's good to have friends in high places or friends with enough money to do whatever they want to do. So Elon says, you know what? I don't like how y'all act. I don't like how y'all treat my friends. I'm going to buy this whole company out. And to be honest with you, is the company worth $44 billion? I don't think so. Uh, I think it's actually under worth under forty billion. But if you don't give me that forty four billion, you're gonna overprice my company, and you're gonna pay for it. Go for it, right? So now the big issue is freedom of speech, and I'll just post it right here so you can see some of the things that um, Sean has been saying on his Twitter account about Elon and about how he operates and about his um, his treatment of black people. Um, and I don't know if that has anything really overall to do with this story. But what I do think is freedom of speech is viewed in so many different ways and so many different lights. And, and in my opinion, freedom of speech is a freedom to say whatever you want to say, right? So, so can Twitter be a platform where you can say whatever you want to say, no matter how hateful, no matter how what it is? Possibly. I mean, if he's going to, Elon wants to take it, make it a private company and let people say whatever they want to say cool the thing that people don't think about about freedom of speech is there is often a consequence that comes behind whatever you said or whatever you wrote so if you're big enough to say it be big enough when that confrontation comes to your front door or comes to your face don't that's not the time to start saying hey wait it's just twitter or it's just entertainment it's just nope you said it now somebody's ready to place hands fists feet on you 
be big enough and be ready to take that action. And that's what I got for you today, man. That's my view. That's Blue's view. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Y'all tell me what y'all think about freedom of speech. Like, comment, subscribe, come back. Tell me if you even like, you know, this this segment or this this series. And uh, that's all I got for today, man. That's Blue's view, man. Holla at me. Let me know what y'all looking at. Let me let me know what's going on in your world, man. Till next time, y'all be safe.